Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. We are counting down to the big celebrations expected on this July 4th holiday. Of course, this year marks the return of the fireworks and those big celebrations likely to create a bump for businesses as well. Let's bring in Phil Grucci, Fireworks by Grucci, CEO and President. And Phil, of course, we should mention that your company is behind some of the biggest celebrations we see every year. Last year was a quiet one. How big of a bounce back are we expecting this weekend? Well, we almost have a full bounce back. Uh, unfortunately, because of the lateness of when the bounce back started, which is typically, typically we have January, February is when we're uh, contracting and booking, but uh, it didn't come back until about April. So we, we had to cut it, we had to cut it short about 50% of our business is back on the 4th of July. The fortunate thing is majority of them that we could not produce on 4th of July rolled over to Labor Day and other, other periods during the summer. So we're happy. We're very happy that uh, we're back. Yeah, and Phil, I mean, when we look at it, it's interesting, too, because last year we were talking so much about maybe some of those more professional fireworks spilling over into the retail space. I'm not going to say I saw some of that going on when I was driving through South Carolina, but there were some big bad boomers out there. Uh, and when sure. you look at it, there is also a spike in, in accidents and in, in fireworks related injuries out there by people who weren't working in a professional capacity. I mean, uh, what are you expecting to see in regards to that mix between the professional side of the business and the retail side of the business and, and maybe potential sure. shakeouts there as we get back? To normal? Last year, 2020, our, the display side of the business, as an example, uh, typically we would uh, the industry itself would have about $300 million in sales. Last year was about 93. So we saw about uh, two thirds of our business on the display side uh, vanish. Uh, con uh, on the other side, on the consumer side, they typically have would have about a billion dollars in sales during that period, and they jumped up to a hundred percent increase to about one point nine billion. As you saw that stat that's on the screen. So with the volume uh, came with some more of the of the injuries, but the injuries were less in comparison to the increase in volume that we had this year as compared to, um, I'm sorry, in 2020 as compared to in 2018. So we're seeing, uh, you know, yes, we're seeing people last year, they had this pent up uh, frustration. They wanted to get out. And unfortunately, some of the states that don't allow fireworks, those people will go out and find whatever they're going to do. They'll find it and they'll use it. Unfortunately, they're using it illegally. So our message is go out and celebrate. Your state has a law, and your state has product that's that's been that's been tested under the CPSC that you can use safely if you follow the rules. And we won't have to have those statistics. We're not saying not to use fireworks as a consumer. I mean, our business doesn't have any uh, stake in that in the consumer side. We're more on the display side, all on the display side. And our business now come back and, and grown. So either go out and watch a professional fireworks display if your state doesn't allow, um, or if you're going to use fireworks, make sure you're using the legal material that's allowed in your state. Mm -hmm. Uh, Phil, we've we've heard a lot of um, stories of some of the bottlenecks that have happened over at the ports and how that has sort of limited supply of fireworks. What does that look like for you right now? A any concerns? For me, for in our company, the Grucci family, we are not, not having concerns with the supply because the product that we have for this this Fourth of July and the summer season, we had in stock back in March of last year when COVID hit. So our stocks, our shelves have been full for over a year and a half now. Um, the consumer side, because they did have such a banner year last year, their shelves were empty in August, and they had to reorder. And all of their product is what's caught out on the, on these issues where. Um, this lack of containers, shortage of ships, um, and they're feeling that. So the amount of material that's going to actually be imported will certainly service the industry and service the demand, but they may not be able to get the entire um, allocation of products that they they thought they were going to be able to sell for this season. And the consumers will the consumers will buy it if it's available. Well, I know a lot of people are looking forward to the celebrations this weekend. You certainly have a very busy weekend ahead. Phil, appreciate you joining us today. Phil Grucci, Fireworks by Grucci CEO and President.